dear students a subspace is a subset of a vector space which is itself a vector space in other word if we know about a vector space and we find a subset of that vector space which satisfies all the 10 properties of a vector space then that subset is called a subspace as we can see that from the definition number 1 it is a long procedure to show that a subset of a vector space is a subspace so that is why we will use definition number 2 to prove that a subset h of a vector space is a subspace according to definition number 2 if a subset h of a vector space v satisfies three properties then we will say that h is a subspace the first property is the closure property under addition which means that if we take any two elements u and w from h and now if we add these two elements u plus w and the resultant element is inside h then we will say that h is closed under addition for all u comma w belongs to h the second property is the closure property under scalar multiplication which means that if we take any number from a field we take the set of real numbers as our field and any element from the subset h now if we multiply these two elements and the resultant element a u belongs to h we will say that h is closed under scalar multiplication property number 3 is that the zero vector of h and v will be same in other word we can say that the zero vector the zero vector of v is an h now if a subset h satisfies these three properties we will say that that subset h is a subspace in this example we are given a subset h of r square which contains only those elements of r square whose first part is zero and second part is any real number let us check whether h is a subspace or not so we are going to prove the first property which is called the closure property under addition let us take any two elements of h i am taking u which is equal to 0 comma b1 and now i am taking another one which is 0 comma b2 these are two elements of h because they are in ordered pair and the first part is zero let us add these two elements u plus w then 0 plus 0 is 0 and b1 plus b2 we can see that the resultant element is an element of h because the first part is zero and the second is any real number so this implies that h is closed under addition and now let us 
take the second property. In this property, we take some element from a field which is set of real numbers and some element u which is zero comma b1 from h. Now let us multiply these two elements u and h. We have a n to zero comma b1. If we multiply, we get zero comma a b1. We can see that this is also an element of h. So this implies that h is closed under scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication. And now let us see the third property. In the third property, we can see that in H, we have elements, the first part is zero, and B is any real number. So if we take B as zero, then we can write that zero comma zero is an element of H, and this is the additive identity, which is also the additive identity of the vector space of the vector space R square. So H and V have the same zero vector. Since all properties are satisfied, this implies that H is a subspace, a subspace of R square. 